Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about algebraic expression. We have already learnt about exponents and many algebraic expressions have variable with exponents. For example, the area of circle with the radius as r is represented by the algebraic expression pi multiplied by r square. Pi r square is a monomial expression as it has a single term. Here pi is a constant whose value is 22 by 7 and r is a variable. So r, r square etc are the variable factors. We may find many polynomial expressions having variables with exponents. For example, 3x cube plus 2x square y plus y cube. The first term has x cubed, second term has x squared and the third term has y cubed. Now the term with the highest power in a polynomial decides the degree of the polynomial. What is degree? Take for example an expression 2L plus 2B. Here the highest power is 1 as both L and B have 1 as the power. So the degree of this polynomial is 1. Next we have an expression 3x cube plus x square y plus 1. Here the highest power is 3. So the degree of polynomial is 3. Now let's take another example. 3x cube plus 2x square y square plus y cube. Now what is the degree of this polynomial? You must be thinking the highest power is 3 as x cube. So the degree of this polynomial should be 3 but this is wrong. When variables are multiplied the power is added to decide the degree of that term. For example the degree of the term 2x square y square is equal to 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4. So 2x square y square term has the highest degree amongst all the terms in this expression. So we can say 4 will be the degree of this polynomial. Now can the degree of a polynomial be negative? Let's find out. First of all, algebraic expression with multiple terms are not always polynomial expression. Here we have x cube plus 2x square by y plus y square. We know 1 divided by y means y raised to the power minus 1. So this algebraic expression has a term with negative exponent. Such an expression is not a polynomial expression. Thus polynomial expression doesn't have any term with negative exponents. As the polynomial doesn't have any negative exponents, the degree of polynomial is never a negative value. So let's revise what we learned today. Term with the highest degree decides the degree of a polynomial. If a term has many variables then we need to add the exponents of all the variables multiplied in a term to get the degree of the term. The highest degree of the term in the expression is the degree of that polynomial. Here the term b square is of degree 2 but the term 2a square b has the degree 2 plus 1 which is 3. Hence the degree of this polynomial 
a plus 2a square b plus b square is 3. If any algebraic expression has a term with negative exponent, then we can't call it a polynomial expression. For example, x plus 5 divided by x square plus 3. This is not a polynomial. 1 by x square is x raised to power minus 2. So this expression is not a polynomial. So now you know what is the degree of a polynomial. That's all for now. Bye bye children.